Hello YouTube's Grosama, and here I have today the Massigrade F91 Gundam 2.0. Uh, this just came out today. Uh, I, th I think in, like Tokyo it came out last night because I, I saw a whole bunch of Japanese dudes online uh, kind of posting about it. So I'm like, eh, I guess Tokyo just gets the kind of privilege that I don't. But anyways, uh, I'm really excited to go ahead and build this because I haven't built the 1.0 and I do actually have that 1.0 right here so I haven't built it it's just kind of been chilling in the box and there is a significant um, size difference when it comes to these two so as you can see like the the thickness I think this is a little bit more uh, thick than this box yeah so there's a little more thickness when it comes to uh, the first one but uh, when it comes to the overall like width and height uh, the 2.0 is definitely gonna have more uh, even though this this does have a stand this has, this has a stand as well, and the stand on this one's a little bit more bulky uh, than this one. So I think this is just gonna have a lot more pieces uh, for the gimmicks than what this one had. So um, you know, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so before we actually get into the uh, proper unboxing, uh, I just wanna let y'all know about a couple of things that I actually did purchase uh, once I, you know, when I actually did purchase this, and it kinda gives you a little more insight about uh, some of the things I'm gonna be doing, um, you know, further down the line as far as like uh, Gundam reviews or maybe even like some things I'm gonna add uh, to the reviews themselves. So the first thing I went ahead and bought, I bought the uh, Ogre GNX, so the, the review for this uh, should be coming directly after that, but uh, I just wanna let you know I picked this one up as well and I will be building it after this. And I did get some extra little builder parts, but I'm probably just gonna throw this in the pile and maybe just whenever I do a giveaway, uh, throw, the, throw a couple of these in the actual Gundams that I do, uh, do the giveaways for. And I did buy the Lightning Unit, so this is actually going to require uh, three of the LR44s uh, to go ahead and power this on. Uh, so I haven't actually opened it. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it once I get um, once I get this thing fully built and everything. Uh, and I do know that this is gonna connect to the stand, but uh, if you do want the lighting set up, you are gonna have to buy uh, buy this you know thing. I think it's like about 20, uh, yeah, uh, 2,000 yen. So about 20 bucks, and then just buy uh, three of these LR44 uh, batteries. And I didn't have a screwdriver, so I just went ahead and bought a little mini screwdriver so that way I can go ahead and uh, get that little lighting thing opened up. And I got a new file because the other one I had, uh, the angle just isn't right, so I like this one a little bit more, so I'll be able to do some better uh, battle damage to my mobile suits. And I also got this Effect Rock Set. Uh, I think this thing's like about 20 bucks, but it is like really, really heavy. Um, but I just want to get some like rock effects because when I do uh, some of these reviews, I want to have more uh, effect parts kind of like expressing, or maybe not for the reviews, uh, maybe actually more for the pose videos, but we'll see. Um, but I was like, this looks like good debris, uh, maybe in space. So if I have him pose in, in, in a certain way, uh, this would be just good kind of like background. Uh, effects to kind of enhance the overall aesthetics and looks of the model so if you do want to see like these kind of things in the actual reviews uh, let me know and if you want to see like maybe a, a review for this you know let me know uh, about that as well in the comments and lastly I got a little thing of a ascension cable this has nothing to do with uh, Gumpla. I just needed an extension cable to plug in my switch. Okay, so finally on the actual kit. Uh, looking at the front cover, it looks fantastic. I actually really, really love this one um, versus the 1.0. I just, I think this one looks more, um, more intense. It looks like more of a real robot uh, than the other one. The other one kind of just looks a little like cartoonish. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's a cartoon anyways. Anime. Anime, sorry, it's an anime robot. Uh, but this one just looks more real world and, and kind of just like, I don't know. It, it, to me, the box art looks way better. And this was released in May 2018. And looking at the sides, you see the weapons, all the different kind of mechanics it has. Um, looks pretty cool, you got the, the beam weapon and you got the, uh, the little shield right there, the energy shield. The head does have the open head gimmick and to my knowledge, this is actually gonna come with two different heads. Uh, you're gonna get a, well I guess maybe not the entire head but maybe the uh, face part, uh, but you're gonna have one that's kinda like a fixed pose right there and the other one is actually gonna be able to open up. And this says multi-layer structure, so the ducks, uh, says, let's see. So the ducks on the abdomen and legs have uh, adapted a multi-layered structure, giving them a dense feel. Parts have been applied with an extra finish. So that's pretty dope. This is this is actually what I'm pretty excited about. So I guess it's gonna have like this little gold, um, you know, kind of part underneath the uh, the vents. 
And then just looking over here, you see more gimmicks for the shoulders, the uh, VSBR. Well, I wish I knew what the hell that meant. I'm gonna have to go online and see what, the, what that means. Uh, then you got some parts for the legs that the vents open up, and you got some nice little uh, knee separation right there. And then this is what a, um, basically, a, let's see, colored parts, give the couple of Okay, so this is what a, basically the unpainted uh, and unfinished model looks like with all the, the accessories right there. And here is a front and rear view of the model. Here's also the model on a nice little action stand, so you can go ahead and uh, basically just put in some pretty kick-ass poses. And then lastly, this is kind of talking more about the details and the uh, the weaponry, as well as the lighting unit that you can go ahead and buy separately. And then also the markings. This kit does retail for 4,000 yen, so it's a little bit up there in price, uh, but I'm hoping that for the end result, you're really gonna get something that is gonna be worth it. Uh, but when you kind of include that lightning, um, the little lightning set, I mean, you're really gonna have to bring this up to 6,000 yen, and then with the batteries, um, which were only like a dollar something, so it's about like 6,000, like 600 yen. Okay, so let's go ahead and run through all these runners. Um, this is going to be the first one, uh, runner A1 and A2. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of good details in there. Uh, we got the, uh, looks like the waist, uh, looks like parts of the weapons right up here. So some pretty fine details uh, that's actually going to be included in here. I don't, I'm not seeing a lot of panel lines, uh, except for on the weapons. The weapons have some good little vents and everything. Uh, but I'm not really seeing too much in, in, in the form of like panel lines. So I think this will be a good opportunity to go ahead and um, maybe uh, add in some of that. Uh, I'm not gonna do it in this kit. I honestly, like I'm fine with it being kind of more normal. Like this this definitely looks like the, the, the legs. Um, I think this might be the, uh, I think this is the thigh? Yeah, it looks like part of the thigh right here. This might be part of the calf. Um, then you got parts of the arm and you got parts of the head uh, right here. So overall it does look pretty good I'm just really excited to go ahead and finally get this thing together because I do have some ideas I want to go ahead and play around with all right and next you're gonna have runner B You're gonna get two of these runners. So let's go ahead and focus on one. So this is uh, once again another white runner um, Not really many panel lines. I mean the legs have a, a little bit right there um, There's a little bit of details uh, you know, it's just really not that much. Like a lot of it's kind of plain. Uh, like you know, whatever this is, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know where this is actually going to go. But uh, this is a, essentially a blank canvas. So um, definitely, if you know, if you're wanting to to add in panel lines, I think this is going to be a perfect kit for you. Uh, maybe not. I wouldn't you know experiment with this one. Um, but if you are already pretty savvy with it, I would definitely say, uh, you know, take out your uh, scribers and maybe start uh, etching in some of these little panels. Okay, and runner C, so we're getting, getting more into the inner frame. Uh, inner frame looks really good, there's a lot of great details on the inside. So um, this is something I kind of, it depends on how exposed the inner frame is uh, that I might be willing to, you know, do some painting uh, as far as uh, enhancing the details. Uh, you do get the vents right here, so nothing really too special, just kind of like, uh, the vent area is all right here. Uh, this is good. definitely for the chest, and I think this might be for the waist right here. Um, look at, looking at the hands, the hands are going to be fixed uh, fingers. Uh, so these are actually some of my favorite hands when it comes to uh, you know master grades, and you know these are just going to be really good to keep the uh, the weapon in place instead of like the little fully custom, uh, fully posable fingers. Okay, and here we have runner D1 and D2, and you're going to have uh, two of these runners. So once again, we get some uh, nice little inner frame, uh, some vents, uh, looks like a lot of great details. This is gonna be for the weapon right here. Uh, so as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of good details etched right in there. So if you wanna go ahead and detail that up, you definitely can. I'm uh, just looking at it overall. It looks like it's pretty much normal. I'm not really seeing anything that's like out of the ordinary. And then here you're gonna have those little, um, I don't know what they call these, uh, I mean, fins or, um, I don't know, but these are the little shoulder parts that uh, are going to be able to come out. So when it goes into its like, I guess mirage mode, um, I think that's what it's called, the mirage mode. Uh, it, it basically can go ahead and enhance the speed and everything with these all floating out. And then here you have your yellow runner. Uh, so these are just going to be all the yellow parts that are going to be uh, scattered throughout the kit. And you get two runner Fs, which is going to be your red parts. So uh, it looks like it's mainly going to be for the feet, uh, the face. I don't know where this part is. I have, I have to look on the uh, the cover art, but uh, you got a little red part right there. And you get runner G1. Uh, so G1 is going to be that nice little blue. Uh, it's a fairly light blue, but it, you know it's kind of like it's it's a little bit light, but it, it has like a kind of more dark tint to it. Like I don't really know how I, how I explain it, but it's not like 100% like bright, but 
overall it does look good and here is runner g2 which uh, this is a very orange looking color, so uh, pretty much all the orange parts. Uh, I know this is going to be for like the little um, chest falcons. Uh, not really too sure what else this is all going to be. It looks like there's parts for the uh, the chest, maybe uh, parts for uh, the knees, I think these are. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much a orange runner. And here we have a gold runner, which is G3. Uh, G3 is going to be a very nice metallic, so I don't know if you could really see uh, the detail as far as like the metallic detail in there but this looks really good and this is going to be under all the vents um, so it might be just like a little bit partially exposed uh, kind of you just see a hint of gold underneath there but overall this looks really good and I don't yeah this isn't undergated but it looks like the um, the sprues are actually placed in decent locations because I think this is going to be hidden anyways uh, so you may not have to really worry about um, exposed nub marks so hopefully that shouldn't really bother anyone. And here we start getting to the other stuff. So uh, we do have the effect parts, which is gonna be the beam sabers and the, uh, the beam shield. Uh, you also get runner H, which is gonna be your weapons all up here. Uh, and then you're also gonna have, yeah, actually just all weapons. And then you're gonna have the stand part, uh, which is actually where you plug the lightning unit right here in the back. And then you're gonna have the stand uh, right here. And the last runner of the entire kit is going to be runner E2. Uh, so there's going to be all the clear parts, and I'm pretty sure that um, it, I'm not, I don't I don't think it's like piping, but uh, hopefully whenever you do attach a little lightning, um, it definitely lights up the chest as well as the back uh, vents. I do not have I don't think there's any kind of piping when it comes to the head, so uh, I would not expect the head to light up at all. Um, but definitely the uh, the front chest and the back uh, vents, those things would definitely light up. All right, here's where the dis disappointment comes in. Not as much with the stickers because that's easily, you know, all of those can be paint, uh, painted. So if you want a little closer look at what you're gonna need as far as colors, um, these are gonna be it. So you definitely need uh, pretty much a light blue, black, you know, yellow and black. So that's easy enough. Not really too worried about the stickers, but you're gonna get these ugly, uh, I just, I hate, I hate these uh, rub on uh, decals. I, I just much prefer water slides, uh, so I'm still gonna use them. I, I'm not a fan, and, and you know, just as much as the stickers. I'm not a fan of the stickers at all, uh, but I'll still use these because I'm not really painting this kit. I'm just gonna like add some details to it. Um, still not sure if I'm gonna use these stickers. I think I, I, I kind of want to keep it just F91, and then that's it. I don't really want to use the stickers for this kit. It just to me, it doesn't scream that it needs decals, but um, we'll go ahead and see. And you got all these other little um, rub-ons that I, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna use. I think just, I'll stick with the F91 and then uh, just be fine with that. And the last two things before we conclude, uh, you get that little spring catalog that I've shown uh, a while back, so no need to go ahead, go ahead and get into that. And then we have the F91 manual, so uh, essentially we could just take a look inside, nothing really too crazy, kind of just shows you some things, uh, looks like maybe some history of the uh, F91 and this lore. Uh, and then over here just kind of shows you how to apply the, uh, the rub on decals and all the different parts right up here. And uh, here's basically the chest unit, which isn't really going to take much time at all. Uh, you got the head unit and you got the arms, so your basic, um, you know, construction of the uh, master grade units and just here's some more information so uh, if you want to go ahead and look at the color guide and everything here it is and just kind of skip all the way to the back where it shows the little lightning unit um, so it looks like it's pretty easy you just kind of stick that into the back of the uh, the mobile suit and it'll light it up all nice and pretty like uh, then here's going to be all the decal placements so like I said before I may not use these decals but who knows uh, I might actually get around to it and then this is pretty much going to be the uh, finished kit. I think this is a, a painted build. Uh, it doesn't really have any decals on it, so it looks like it's just a very straightforward painted build, not a not a, not, a, not a straight build. But hey, guys, that's it for me. Uh, so right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on building this. Uh, from, well, I'm gonna upload this video first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start building this. Uh, if you have any comments in the you know the comment section, just let me know uh, if you're kind of yay or nay on those. Um, let me pull it up. 
if you're wanting to see these uh, effect parts in the reviews from, uh, from now on, if it applies, uh, obviously I'm not gonna use this if it's like an amphibious unit, that wouldn't make any sense. But if it's kinda like a space unit or you know maybe something more uh, ground oriented, I might just throw these in just to kinda add the, uh, the overall effect of posing and such. Um, and then also let me know if you do wanna see this kinda like a little bit weathered up. I'm not gonna go crazy. Uh, on it, but I do want to go ahead and etch in like a couple of uh, chipping and I have not forgotten that I do want to do uh, weathering tutorials um, I just don't want to do it on this. I, I have a couple of other kits that I would really like to do the more experimental stuff on uh, So this I'm, I'm just gonna do on my own accord and then eventually uh, we'll start doing some more weather tutorials uh, Which is not I, 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 I'm kind of reluctant on saying tutorials because it's more of a let's learn so I'm gonna be learning with y'all um, so I might make errors and mistakes, but that's where like y'all come in in the comments and say, hey, uh, you can do better this way, or you know, maybe if you are in the comments you don't know, uh, you can probably take my mistakes as a lesson and kind of roll with your own and you know, trial and error. That's all this hobby is, and that's why I like it so much. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, definitely, um, you know, look forward to the review. Hopefully tomorrow night. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and stay up a little bit tonight to, to get you know at least through the body, the head, and maybe at least one arm, and then the rest of the day tomorrow. Uh, will be the rest of the the beautiful body so uh, my pants cannot handle the excitement um, and that's actually a lie because I don't wear pants at all but I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow excitement and hype see you later bye bye